about me. So first fact, <laughs> my name is Laura, just Laura, not Hope or anything because most of you always think like that's my second name but unfortunately it isn't but I always think like if you at least have hope um, you're gonna be fine. Um, okay, second fact, um, 20 years old, turning 21 actually, like in 10 days, 12 days kind of. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I used to live in California after graduation and I was an au pair, but I was also a German teacher and a horseback rider and teacher. I have a training license, like an instructor license in horse riding, like that's already the fourth fact. I'm addicted to coffee, I love traveling, I'm a really open person and I'm super weird <laughs> and I try to embrace this weirdness because I think it's funny, but I'm like, I'm the weirdest person around my close friends, but you like, you wouldn't expect me to be weird if you're like would see me probably and also from my Instagram I think like people get a totally wrong expectation about me <laughs> because I'm um, uh, yeah I'm crazy um so next thing I started writing when I was six it's my passion I also started playing the piano when I was six and I did take lessons till the end of 12th grade um you would probably expect me to be a social butterfly, but I really love to just have my close friends. I'm super open and I love to meet new people, but I don't open up to like anyone. And I think that's a really healthy thing, actually. Um, I smile a lot, as you could probably tell from the video. I love talking English, that's why I'm doing that in English. But I might do a German one as well because I am from Germany and I've been on Germany's Next Top Model and that's probably the reason why you know me. Or maybe not, so um, yeah, you should check it out. Um, so that's already like 12. I started working out or doing workouts when I was 12 or 14 because I am addicted to sport. Um, and that's like a most asked question like when I did start with doing workouts and I mean I started riding when I was six so I never have been not sporty. I love snowboarding, I love surfing but I'm not good at surfing, I really have to get back on that. I was really competitive in riding till I was 16, 18. I um traveled a lot already i've been to thailand to greece to spain to france to israel to the czech republic to poland um i haven't been to scandinavia yet i have been in california nevada new york new jersey a little bit but you can already count that um lake tahoe i mean that's in california but still uh, mexico just been there my first time in Latin America. Um, yeah, so I've been around a lot. Um, I'm really like spontaneous, meaning I would pack my things and move to Hawaii and I'll probably do that <laughs> like really soon. And I'm just like, I love like that I found myself. I'm like really in balance and I probably am right now the happiest that I've ever been because I'm so free. And I'm an overthinker, even though I trying to stop that because I think it doesn't lead you anywhere because thinking is like swimming swinging <laughs> like being on the swing you're kind of like occupied but you're not really doing anything so um what else i have a diving license um i have also a piano teaching license so <laughs> as you might recognize i'm really good in taking license stuff um I love biology. I took like AP biology in school and I hate reading. I really hate to admit that, but it's just like really tough for me to like sit down and read a book, but I kind of enjoy it. Um, I love Paolo Coelho as like an author and my favorite movie is probably Hannah or Gone Girl. Um, 
my favorite snack are salty crackers, pretzels, anything salty and dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Um, I love ice cream. I, um, I don't know. <laughs> I love Lana Del Rey. I love Billie Eilish. Gonna go to a concert really soon. I'm super excited. Like, I don't love Lana. Like, Lana is legend. Like, yeah, Lana is just art and I would do anything to go to a concert to her. Um, what's on my bucket list? Probably sky jumping or something. Um, I really wanna visit more of Latin America and Marrakesh and stuff like that. Um, craziest thing I've ever done, I don't know, I did like a lot of crazy things. I went like swimming when there were like the red flags outside in Thailand and I hit my nose pretty bad because I got like wiggled in the wave. Um, I was climbing trees when I was little with my brother and like really high ones, but yeah, we were fine. Um, we had like, there was like one story that is actually really funny, um, there were like thrones around my parents' houses and we just thought we might follow them, so we like, got in the car and drove around for like, I don't know, two, four hours and came like out in a totally different city and we don't know who they belong to or anything, but it was fun and it was a little bit scary as well because we saw like a parking car with like flashlight on everything but yeah um i don't know um i just like i would never say no to anything oh no that's not right but i'm like just i love to try out things because everyone is always like why can't you do that and it's like because i tried when i got like the opportunity to try it so that's really like one advice just do it just try it out and you will see if you like it um I listen to every kind of music pretty much. I love reggae, I love American rap and French rap, I love Russian music and still woozy, uh, for example, like Bay Area rap, <laughs> um, because he used to live there as an au pair. Um, yeah, I met Travis Scott in a club, that's pretty fun, pretty crazy. Um, I walk up the Hollywood sign when I was in LA and um, one thing I used to be really insecure about myself was my body like my butt and I know that sounds crazy but um, I really didn't like it like having like this body structure and being super athletic I just wanted to be like super skinny and that's it but I used or I learned to really love myself and I'm super proud of like what I achieved through my sports and that I am athletic and can do things and be like that kind of healthy and yeah um, it kind of became like my brand like my body as well and I love poetry I love to write po poems it's probably a thing that not so many of you uh, might know and I have a friend in probably every country, like I have a friend in France and uh, Sweden and Novi, Norwegia and Poland, America of course and Russia, Maldives, um, yeah, so I just meet like so many people and I kind of manage to kind of stay in contact, I love like meeting them again and that they can visit me where I am or I can visit them and i love to be on the stage as a little kid and just dance around and entertain people and it hasn't really changed as you can see and i just like to share like mindset stuff and everything and yeah a dream of mine is probably having my own brand and being like super independent and yeah uh, maybe playing a role in like a movie or something that'd be so cool and yeah I don't even know if they were like 50 facts but I think it's a pretty good amount <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments if you have questions always feel free to ask 
also my other socials like my instagram and everything it's gonna be linked down below and yeah um i don't know <laughs> enjoy where you at and where you're in life right now <laughs> bye